Have we ever wondered how data is transmitted through a network with the highest search traffic? Well, not to worry. Today's topic is everything you need to know about data transmission through physical layer in the OSI model. If you are watching this video, then you are a techie. Love watching more tech content? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and hit the bell icon so you are the first to get notified. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. To begin with, we will look into the structural model of the OSI model. Advancing with the core topic that is, what is the physical layer in the OSI model. Moving on with the attributes of the physical layer. Finally, we will wrap up our session by discussing the critical roles and the importance of physical layer in the OSI model. Now, let's get started with the first topic that is, what is an OSI model? To better understand the OSI model's role in transmitting data from network to another, let's consider we have two networking devices between which data is being transferred. The path between the devices is called communication channel. Let us assume that we different operating system for the network channel. To overcome such situation where the data cannot be transferred due to the different OS in the system, OSI model is used, which uses the seven layer structure to allow the conversion of data from the upper model to the data that is to be transferred. Now let's take a look at the technical definition of the OSI model. The OSI model stands for Open System Interconnection Model, a specifically designed set of protocols and standards governing the data's modeling and conversion of proper transmission. The OSI model is divided into seven layers which perform specific functions and apply protocols to maintain data quality without any error. Now let's move on to the main heading for the session that is what is a physical layer. The physical layer which provides and is responsible for physical mode between the sender and the receiver node in the data transmission. This layer converts frames received from the data link layer into bits that is in terms of ones and zeros to be transferred. It is also responsible for maintaining the data quality by applying necessary protocols and maintaining the bit rate through the data transfer using wired and wireless medium. Now let's move on to the attributes of the physical layer. The physical layer has multiple attributes which it applies in the OSM model. The first is signals. The data is to be converted to signals for efficient data transmission, where it has two different types. Digital signals represents the network pulses and digital data from the upper layer, whereas the analog signal is converted data for transmission of the model. The next attribute is known as transmission medium. The network function is damaged without proper conversion at the physical layer. It has two different types. Wide medium. The connection established is made through application of cables, example fiber optic cable and coaxial cable. And the second type is wireless medium. Connection established using the wireless communication network, example Bluetooth and Wi Fi. The other attributes of the physical layer are data flow, which is defined as the rate of information flow and the transmission wireframe. The factors that affect data flow rate are Error rate, receiving incorrect data due to noise in the transmission. Encoding, encoding data for transmission over the network channel. And the last is bandwidth, that is the transmission rate of data in the channel. The last attribute of the physical layer is noise in transmission. During data transmission, the transmitted data may get damaged or corrupted due to multiple reasons. Some of which are mentioned as dispersion. In this case, data is spread and overlapped during transmission, which causes damage to the original data. Then we have attenuation, which is the gradual weakening of the network signal over the transmission channel. Then we have data delay. The transmitter's data reaches the destination system outside the time specified. Now let's move on to the role of the physical layer in a model. 
The physical layer due to data transmission ability performs multiple roles, which are the data bit are converted to physical signals and transmitted over the channel by the physical layer. It also integrates multiple electronic circuits for data transmission and apply different technological hardware. It is also responsible for translation of data that is received from the upper layer in the OSI model. Now let's move on to the last setting that is importance of physical layer. The physical layer is responsible for maintaining the communication between the hardware and the network model. Without the physical layer, the conversation of data from upper layer will halt, which leads to collapse of the communication model. It also handles the data flow rate of the data being transmitted along with the time frame of the transmitted data. With this, we have covered all the important points and definitions related to the physical layer in the OSI model. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.